What's up YouTube, Jeff Beck again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm continuing my coverage of the Galaxy Note 8. And today we're gonna to get into the Samsung official LED wallet cover for the Note 8. Now I have reviewed already a couple of the Samsung official cases. So if you're looking for the clear s -view cover, that's the flip cover right here. I reviewed this one, I'll drop a link below if you wanna check out this case. It's actually very similar to the LED cover in a lot of ways, and I will compare them a little bit in this video. And then I also reviewed the rugged cover with kickstand. This one doesn't have a cover on the front, just on the back there. It's got a little kickstand here for watching media. If you wanna check that, I'll link it below as well. So the LED wallet cover is one of the more popular ones. They've had this one for quite a few generations as well. It's uh, 60 bucks, it's got a built-in credit card pocket. You can answer calls while protecting the home screen. I already showed how the calls work on the SU flip cover, so if you're interested, go check out that video. It works the same way on both of them. You can also dismiss alarms. Some of the other features here on the back, one of the coolest features is that you can create your own LED caller ID icons and also app notification icons. I'll show you guys how to do that. I think that's the most unique feature of the LED wallet cover. Like I said, you can respond to incoming calls or dismiss it and also take calls through the front cover, store a card inside the front pocket, and the phone automatically sleeps once you close that front pocket. You also get music controls on the lock screen as well, the LED cover, which I like. So we're gonna take it out, like I said, 60 bucks, kind of expensive, but Samsung always prices their first party OEM cases sort of in a very expensive price bracket. So it's got some little plastic at the top so you go ahead and peel off on the inside some styrofoam, quick start guide, which I'm gonna show you guys the features so you don't really need that if you watch the video. Also some plastic on the inside, which we don't really need, so I'll go ahead and take it off. So a couple of the features of the case, if we just take a quick tour around, get some of this stuff out of the way, you can see that you've got a little card pocket right here. Now there really only one card fits in here comfortably. I've used plenty of these and they haven't made the pocket really any larger. You can squeeze two in there, but then it starts pressing against the phone and it causes the front cover to sort of bulge open. So I don't recommend putting more than one card slot in there. Uh, they got some nice soft lining in here. So it's not gonna scratch the back of your Note 8, some Galaxy Note 8 branding right there. You can see that the cover actually does extend sort of over the actual little plastic piece on the inside. Makes it look nice. On the back, it's got sort of like a, a fabric-y material. It's definitely matte, it's not gonna scratch or anything like that. This is the black one. Some Samsung branding here, which is actually raised up a little bit. You can feel the texture there. Recessed camera module, kind of like the clear SU cover, all of the ports are gonna be exposed. So there are no cutouts here. It's actually just completely exposed on the bottom, completely exposed on the top. It is nice that on the sides here, it's not. So the only thing that's exposed is the power button and the cover does extend up to give you a little bit of a lip. That way the actual front of the case is gonna rest on that lip and it's not gonna rest on the screen of your phone. This is soft material too, so it shouldn't scratch your screen or anything like that, like we've seen in the past. There's another little sticker right there as well. That's warning you about demagnetizing your credit card, so just wanna be careful of that, because there's a magnet there. So let's go ahead and take it out, put the phone in here. We can see what it looks like after taking a quick tour of the case. This is my, I've got the Orchid Gray version, but the good news is because of the black camera module, if you use the black LED flip cover, it's not actually gonna be noticeable that you've got the orchid gray if you don't want it, if you want it to blend in, except on the sides where you see the orchid gray, and then on the top and the bottom there, you also are gonna see the color of the phone. So of course, all the ports are on point, the cutouts. Uh, it's a little more protective, in my opinion, than the um, clear SU cover. That's just because the actual case extends up over the lip a little bit better than it does on the clear SU cover. They are very similar, though, if you look at a side profile, sort of the cutouts in the same spot. The material is slightly different, though. The material, on the uh, SU flip cover, the clear one is a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit, it's both. It's also matte, but it doesn't have texture to it. This one's more textured. This one's slicker. So if you put this on your car or your dash or something, it's probably gonna slide around. This one probably not, probably just sit in place. It's gonna be much nicer in that regard. On the side, you've got your Bixby button right there, a little symbol, plus and minus for the volume. Uh, overall, very nice. You've got a little cutout on the front so you can take calls to the front without opening the cover. Like I said, you can answer and dismiss calls and also alarms from the screen. And as you guys saw right there, when you press the power button, the time comes on. But another thing that you probably saw is when I close it, you see this G right there on the front. So where does that G come from? Well, that's actually one of the custom LED icons that I created for my Gmail. And so if you go into the settings, you'll notice that under advanced features, there's an accessories tab. And if you have the LED flip cover enabled, you'll have the LED icon editor right there. And the cool thing is there's a lot of preloaded icons here. You can go through man, woman, boy, girl, a lot of kind of strange stuff like elephant and turtle, uh, moon. There's an infinity symbol, which I like. I actually drew my own as well. 
Um, so if we go over, you can see my custom uh, notifications right here that I've set up. Infinity 2, I drew a more complete infinity symbol than Samsung in my opinion. I drew some Greek letters because you know I'm a mathematician. Beta, alpha, chi, pretty poor chi. And then a G for Gmail just to show you how it works. So once you draw one of these, you can go in and assign this to any notifications that you want. So you just add it and you can actually have multiple assigns. So if I wanted to have Gmail and Google Plus both have the G symbol, now when I add those, I'm gonna have that G symbol pop up when I have notifications from either one. The coolest thing about it is that you can use the S Pen, which is you know one of the standout features of the Galaxy Note series, to create these custom drawings. Now, I'm not a great artist, so that's why I was just drawing letters, but you can draw anything you want here. A lot of this stuff, again, is already preloaded. You know, you can draw your own custom heart. That's a terrible heart. I don't even know what that is. It doesn't even look like a heart. But you can draw whatever you want, and you know, you can give it a label. For instance, I might say, this is a bad heart, and then save it, and then you can assign it to any contacts you want or any apps. So that's a really unique feature of the LED wallet cover, in my opinion, that makes it stand out from this one, which is the Clearview cover. The standout feature here is that you can actually see the always-on display, um, and this one is the LED icon indicators. So if you like to play around with that, that'll be something you like. Um, like the other one, you can have it automatically unlock if you don't have any secure lock screen. And when you put the cover on, you'll notice that there's a little welcome message telling you that you can get specially curated themes that will match your LED cover and even shows you the color at the top, which is in black. If you guys go check out my video for this one, because it's an orchid gray cover, it shows me specially curated themes that are in orchid gray. So you can definitely get a nice sort of comparison between the two. And that's the, you know, it's the standout feature here, the always on display versus those LED icon indicators. Most of the other stuff is equal for the most part. Another thing I find really useful, like I said, is controlling music from the lock screen. So I'm just gonna play a little bit from Spotify so I can show you. I don't wanna get any issues with copyrighted music. So if I hit play and close it, you'll see right there that you've got the music playing on the lock screen and you can see how it's going along. You can get the controls right there as well. So that's a really nice thing to be able to control your music from the lock screen. Press pause, press you know forward, back, and it's a nice way to not have to open the cover because when you have a cover, a case like this, you don't wanna be opening it all the time to take calls um, or to control your music. All right, so that's a quick comparison of the LED wallet cover versus the SV flip cover and a quick review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe so I can make future videos like this. You can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. I do appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.